I can't even open it. This is the. Oh. It has like a nice chocolate layer on the back. Any other. Oh, shh. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, in today's video, we are actually gonna go on a snack hunt adventure. Um, and we're gonna try out some Korean snacks. Um, there's a lot of H Marts around me. So I was like, why not? Why don't we try this out? Because I've seen people do this where they try out Korean snacks. And for me, it's gonna be my first time actually trying out Korean snacks. I probably had a couple not knowing it was Korean snacks, but uh, we're gonna go pick some up and we're gonna try them out in the car. And it's gonna be my first time trying these Korean snacks. And I'll give you guys my review, I guess, on which one I think personally think is the best one to get if you go get some Korean snacks. Um, so there is an H Mart around me and there's plenty of H Marts here in New York. So it's actually at like a Korean supermarket where they, actually, they sell these authentic Korean snacks and we will go pick some up. And then I'm also gonna be explaining and talking about my most embarrassing moment of me in the gym. It is a bench press story. Pretty much how I almost hurt myself pretty bad doing the bench press. But anyways, we're going on this snack adventure. Uh, we're gonna go pick up these snacks and we're gonna eat it in the car. We're gonna enjoy it, see how it tastes. Um, maybe pick up some savory and some sweet snacks. I don't wanna just pick up all sweets because I'm not too much of a sweet tooth. Yeah, let's head to H Mart right now and let's get some snacks. All right, so we are here in the parking lot of the H Mart supermarket. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of people here. Um, I just realized that it's uh, Friday afternoon, so that's reason why there's probably a lot of people but anyways we're gonna head inside um, I didn't do too much research on which snacks I should be picking out uh, but I did see like a top five list and I might be picking a couple off that list and then probably just go off by my eye and what I see that looks good and we'll probably pick up a few as well maybe like a ten dollar spending limit um, on these snacks because like I said I'm not much of a snacker but I want to try to get as much variety as I can so if I could find things that are comes in like a single serving, uh, that'd be great. So let's head inside and see what we get. And I'm quite hungry, so I'm probably gonna pick up some kimbap as well. All right, so we're in the snack aisle, but we got a ton of freaking options. So this seems like all the savory stuff. Um, I don't even know where to start. This looks good. I don't know what this is, but this looks good. This looks very Korean authentic like. It looks like Daboki chips. This looks good too. We gotta pick this up. Pick up number two. So we just picked up a bag of snacks. Uh, I actually had to move the car out of the parking lot because uh, there are a lot of people waiting for a spot. So I'm just parked here on a side road. Uh, and we got to dig in onto some snacks. Um, I didn't pick up too many snacks because a lot of the snacks came in like family size bag and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them afterwards so I picked up four different types of snacks uh, two sweets two savory and I also picked up a roll of camp up because I'm actually hungry right now and I need some real food besides from these snacks so we're gonna have that first <laughs> um, they didn't have my usual squid roll but they had some uh, fish tofu roll and none of these snacks are the one on the top five list that I actually saw online uh, maybe only one of them is the first thing we're eating here is just a regular kimbap roll the other thing I wanted to get which is an onion ring bag um, I think I had it before it tastes just like onion rings but it was like on a top 10 list for Korean snacks that you should be getting first one we're gonna try actually I just randomly picked out of the bag um, is this Daboki it seems like it's fried I can't even open this is the oh all right so the reason why I do a lot of these in my car is because um, it's just hard for me to record at home um, I do live with my family still so like every time I try to record there's always some type of noise in the background and it's hard for me to kind of edit that out so all of these are things I've never tried before um, and it looks pretty cool on the label so uh, that's why I picked it up so let's give this a try This is supposed to be Daboki. Fried. Wow, okay. Sweet initially, and then. So it's sweet initially, and then it's freaking uh, hot and spicy afterwards. I'm gonna try not to eat this whole thing because there's a lot of calories, but for those of you who don't know, 
chips for me is like seriously the number one thing that that triggers me to kind of just eat the whole bag um i'm more of a savory person than a sweet too so if you give me a bag of candy i have probably very low chance of finishing it but if you give me a bag of something like this i could probably finish it without even thinking about it i kind of i could kind of just munch on it uh when i watch a movie and it'll be not an issue at all i'll say it tastes close to what it actually resembles on the um the actual bag let's put that to the side we're gonna try out the next bag of chips some type of crawfish and it's also spicy so let's why are these why are these bags so hard to freaking is it me or I'm opening these bags wrong? I think you're not supposed to like snap open these bags. Like a regular bag. You're supposed to actually peel it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You're actually supposed to open it like this. I hate opening my bag of chips like this because uh, it just makes a mess afterwards. Mm. Alright. So this one has a different kick of heat. Um, whoa. Wow. This one's, this one's a lot more spicy. Than I thought it'll be. The other one was sweet and savory. This one is freaking spicy. I can pretty much explain how this one tastes like. It tastes just like um, if you're having hot pot, um, it tastes just like the mala hot pot. It has those peppercorns, kind of give that like spicy flavor on your tongue. But anyways, um, while I eat these chips, while I eat these snacks, I do want to explain my story of. Of me when I kind of had an embarrassing moment in the gym um, and it's actually a dangerous moment too is really through bench pressing uh, I'm sure a lot of people can relate um, so I have a couple of stories the first one was actually when I first got stuck underneath a bar during a bench press this was when I first started lifting and I had like no one to kind of ask in terms of like people to spot me i was always nervous when it came to like asking someone to to help me out in the gym but now it's like it's a no-brainer you should ask for help so if you're in the gym and you need help on a spot uh, let's say like you do a heavy lift a bench press especially squat you could probably kind of bail out of it but when it comes to bench press it's really hard to bail out of a bench press so really get someone to help you Find someone to spot for you, especially during the bench press. When I first started lifting, I hate asking people to spot me because I felt awkward. I was just always a shy person. I never really, really like interacting with people, especially in the gym. I kind of just want to get my own workout in and, you know, mind my own business. But there was one time I was benching, when I first started benching, I was like, oh, this, this weight feels pretty light today. You know, let me just add extra 10 pounds. And I was like, all right, let me go for another one. And literally the bar got stuck on my chest and I could not move and I was thinking to myself oh my god what am I gonna do what I did was I started like I started like squeeze squeezing my body through the bar like this maybe try this side and then like try this side try to squeeze my way through the bar so I literally just had the bar on my chest for I would say a good two minutes luckily the gym was packed there were people there someone saw me he was also benching and he came over, grabbed the bar, and picked it up for me, and uh, really helped me out. That was like probably the one, one of my most embarrassing moments uh, when it came to the gym. I think people are always willing to help you, so don't be afraid to ask for help. I think I just ate half of this bag of chips already. This is the reason why I don't eat chips, because they're just so good. Like, to me, savory snacks are so freaking addicting. And it's like, I'm here munching on this while I talk. It's, it's going to be gone within a couple of minutes. So this is why we could put this down right now. I'm not going to touch it on to the next snack review <laughs> next snack review is a cookie let's give this a try it's called a monster cookie i don't know what that says in korean but this is what it looks like like i said i'm not a sweet person but i'll give it a try see how it tastes like let's give this a try hmm. not bad not bad it tastes just like your average cookie it has like a nice chocolate layer in the back. Any other? Oh, shh. I'm making a mess in my car. Like I said, I'm not a sweet person, but it's nothing special. One more sweet snack to check out. So hold on. Let me switch over to that. So this is actually on the list of the top five that um, I was talking about earlier. Like when I did my research on 
what Korean snacks I should be getting. Um, this is one of them. This is called Pepero. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it says Korea's number one brand in terms of chocolate sticks. And it looks just like Pocky. So it looks just like a Pocky. Taste similar to a Pocky. But to be honest, I think these are better because they just have that thicker layer. And they add like little pieces of the well for this is actually Oreo. So they add little pieces of Oreos, I think, onto there. And it actually tastes really good. These type of sweets are my go-to snacks. I like these a lot more than than your regular sweet snacks like candy and chocolate. It gives a good balance between like sweet but not too sweet. Um, I, like I said, I'm not too much of a sweet tooth person. So if you give me something like extremely sweet, I'm gonna have a hard time eating it and I'm not gonna enjoy it. Everything is better than Pocky. Like Pocky, their flavors are very, Pockies are flavors are very like bland and typical. Like they just have like a coating of strawberry, a coating of chocolate or a coating of vanilla. This actually has like these little bits and pieces of the the cookie on there. But uh, I wish I could try out more Korean snacks. Like this is something that I need to do with someone else. That way we could try out more things and we could finish it. But four types of snacks. I pretty much finished two of them. The cookie and the um, preparo slash pocky sticks i have these two bags left i'm probably gonna bring it home and uh, have it laying around and i'll probably have it here and there um, at my disposal whenever i want to eat snacks but anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video that was today's i guess food adventure food snack adventure food review on korean snacks uh, if you guys did enjoy it please give me a thumbs up it's gonna help this video and this channel a lot and also make sure you subscribe down below i remember we do two videos here every single week uh one earlier during the week on fitness tips and one later during the week where i do food adventures like these like fun food adventures and i also kind of explain my experience in lifting fitness and hopefully it helps you guys in terms of um, getting information getting my experience and listening to my stories do you have any questions um if there's any other content you want to see make sure you comment down below on what you like to see and i'll catch you guys next time in the next foodie adventure peace